Okay, my friends, prepare to be stunned. High rise captures Barkin dunes carving on the surface of Mars. Look at that little blue ball right there. And look at this little dishy shape. You see, there's a whole bunch of them around here. And they don't erode, but the sand does. It says the sands must blow. Well, let's see about that. Okay, they call these Barchins. And this is Mars Morris Code, which is up on Mars. And it looks just like this. And we have similar formations here on Earth, all over the place. And they say, you know, they just say, well, they're just like, like it is on Earth. And these all these kind of formations with these balls, and then these strap-looking things, you see? You see, some of them have, are stretched out, and some of them are pinched together. Well, this is biology, my friends. Let me show you. We have seen... All right, this is nothing more than an interstitium that is in your body, right below the layer, which they call a mucosa which would be your skin or the fascia. And then right below there, you have all these balls and straps and bags of fluid. The balls are tough as hell. Here they are right there. There's the balls. This is the mucosa area up here. This is the interstitium. This is what it looks like from gigantic creatures. Exact same thing. And here's the ones from the skin from another creature. And here's what happens is the balls are tougher than hell. So they erode all the mud away from it and the mud just flows away and becomes mud and the balls disassociate from the wall and the mucosa stays here as it's being eaten into as a cliff. Here the whole thing washed away. Right. And up here is the artist rendition of it. And this gives you the ability to stretch and pull and all that. And these are the balls. And those balls end up being all over the world. And I mean, they are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. All over Mars. Everywhere. See, this, this is my good friend Tyson Carlson out in Oregon. He's, he's got this gigantic creature. These are the tendon balls. They still have the straps attached to them. They're all over out there. He's doing a fabulous job. Nobody's really paying attention, but we are. Here's nothing more than eroded interstitium. This is on the Mars Morse code. I'm showing this somewhere else. I'm getting confused because I got so many videos going on. But this is nothing more than stretched interstitium. And this is gathered, gathered, stretched, stretched. Well, on Mars, there's a very, it's very dry. And it, it's literally sandblasted the skin and some of the straps that were sticking up. All right, because this must be a little bit higher elevated which allowed it to weather off the straps, which are much more easily, you know, eroded than the balls. The balls are tough as hell. That's why the balls are laying all over. And that is the Mars Morse code. Now, I've shown this hundreds of times. Is the Mars Morse, I mean, the Mars crab, which is this thing right here. It's nothing more than an artery. These are all little blood vessels feeding the sarcomeres, and it's eroded all the blood has eroded out from the connective tissues. You see that? That's a blown up of this. You see the blow up? You see all over here? These are sarcomeres. You know, see the breaks here? All these tiny little filaments, those are, are muscle connective tissues. And they have breaks in here between the blocks of sarcomeres. When they contract, they pull in together. They just literally pull in like this. And, of course, the thing's dead, and it's all eroded out, all of the floppy stuff, the red tissues, that's why it's the red planet, because all of the blood erodes away. The connective tissue stays pretty solidly intact. Those are nothing more than muscle sarcomeres. Very, very simple, obvious. These are the sarcomeres. These are where those breaks were. These were all these little tiny flippers. Are. They pull in. You see this? This is pulled in. These are just relaxed. Muscle sarcomeres. They go up, see here, this can move side to side in different chunks, and the whole thing can move. You see that? The title of this was captioned millions of years in one picture or something, something like that. Well, this is not. This is a dead body of a creature. I showed you how big these creatures can get. That's literally muscle fibers in there, and this is muscle tissue, and the white is connective tissue. 
these are different layers of membranes and so forth from the skin. The skin starts up here and that, that grows really nice grass and so forth. And the tendons have a different effect. Some of them grow um, mossy stuff and some of them grow lichen. These are the lichen ones, I think. And some of them grow green mossy stuff. All right, the, the picture, the caption of this picture, I think it was like something like 650 million years in one picture. Well, it's not. That is the decaying body of a creature. And it got washed away in 99% of it. And this is what's left, this one little sliver. This is connective tissue. That's muscle and connective tissue. These, these, the chemistry here is, is biology. These are membranes. Interstitching. I think I can see actually the interstitching balls in here. This is this is nothing more than connective tissue. You can see it. I see it in all my mud fossils, and it, it's the the white is normally the really strappy, tough stuff, and the other is the fleshy sort of contracting sarcomere stuff. This is a muscle I have here in my shop. There's a gluey section, really, really gluey looking. And these are tendon fibers. They come right up into that glue. You see them in Iceland. A Finnegal's Cave has them, where you see the fibers coming up, and they meet this really gnarly-looking glue. And then, of course, these are this from here to here is tendon. Tendon is a much more fibrous, rigid. That's why it's a different color. See, then you get into the pink, which is muscle. And you have an abrupt transition. There's a, there's a whole ton of abrupt transitions in your body, which shift from one type of material to the next. And they literally glue to each other. And um, this is where the blood ran in. And um, these are all the muscle fibers. And if this was in the erosive conditions, all that red would run out of here, and you'd see all the white stuff. Connective tissue. There's another muscle mountain right there. <laughs> this is all connective tissue. This is not just erosion from rain in this way and that way. I'm going to leave it at that. It's time to look at this stuff a little bit differently, my friends.